Welcome back to the Rev Line, CAM Common Anti Air Modular Missile for Future Naval Use Philippines 2026. Today we dive deep into one of the most talked about naval air defense systems set to shape modern fleet protection, the Common Anti Air Modular Missile, or CAM. Over the next several minutes I'll walk you through what CAM is, why it matters to the Philippine Navy, how it compares to other missiles, and what its introduction could mean for regional security and maritime operations in 2026 and beyond. Let's start with the basics. CAM is a family of surface-to-air missiles developed to provide short-to-medium range air defense. Designed for flexibility, CAM offers a compact, modular architecture that allows it to be launched from a variety of platforms, from vertical launch cells on frigates and corvettes to mobile land systems. One of CAMM's key design strengths is its soft launch capability, which reduces the stress on launchers and allows the missile to be packed more densely in shipboard systems. That means more rounds available for a ship in a constrained space, an important consideration for platforms with limited deck and magazine volume. For the Philippines, which faces complex maritime challenges across the South China Sea and its surrounding waters, modernizing naval air defense is a priority. Over the past decade, the Philippine Navy has steadily upgraded its surface fleet, acquiring new frigates, corvettes and patrol vessels. These ships expand reach and patrol capacity, but without credible point and area air defense missiles they remain vulnerable to airborne threats, including aircraft, helicopters, anti-ship missiles, and increasingly, drone swarms. CAM could fill a critical gap by providing layered, responsive defense tailored to the realities of littoral and archipelagic operations. Technically, CAM uses an active radar seeker and mid-course guidance that can be updated via datalink. This means the missile can be queued by ship sensors or offboard assets, receive targeting updates while in flight, and independently acquire and home on its target in the terminal phase. Its seeker and guidance package are optimized to handle complex engagements against agile targets and those employing countermeasures. The missile's maneuverability, paired with proximity and contact fuses, allows it to defeat both aerial platforms and sea-skimming anti-ship threats. That mix of autonomy and connectivity is especially useful in contested environments where situational awareness may be distributed across multiple platforms. Another strength is interoperability. CAM was developed with modern naval architectures in mind, and its modular nature means integration with combat management systems is straightforward for many navies. For the Philippine Navy, which fields vessels from diverse sources and systems, an interoperable missile reduces integration costs and timeline. Furthermore, the missile's range and engagement envelope are well suited for layered defense architectures. CAM can serve as the point defense layer protecting individual ships, while longer range systems, whether shore based or shipborne, provide broader area coverage. Let's compare CAM to similar systems. The market for short to medium range naval air defense includes multiple options. Evolved Sea Sparrow variants, Rolling Airframe Missile RAM, the Evolved Sea Sparrow Missile ESSM, and others. Where CAM stands out is its balance between performance, size, and cost. Compared to older Sea Sparrow missiles, CAM benefits from more modern guidance and seeker technologies and a more compact booster and launcher footprint. Compared to RAM, CAM offers a larger engagement envelope and datalink capabilities that permit beyond line of sight tasking and cooperative engagements. In short, CAM brings modern sensor integration, flexible launch options and a performance envelope that suits small to mid-sized warships operating in congested littoral seas. Operationally, how might the Philippine Navy employ CAM? We can imagine several scenarios. In peacetime, CAM-equipped ships enhance deterrence, adversaries are less likely to test airspace or press maritime claims when a navy can credibly defend its vessels. During sovereignty patrols or maritime security operations, CAM provides a protective umbrella for task groups, enabling them to operate closer to contested areas while reducing risk to the platform and crew. In crisis scenarios, CAM contributes to fleet survivability by intercepting incoming anti-ship missiles and hostile aircraft, reducing the probability of successful strikes and buying time for commanders to maneuver or coordinate additional assets. Procurement and integration timelines matter. By 2026, if the Philippine Navy fields CAM on selected vessels, we might see it initially installed on newer frigates in lead ship batches or retrofitted onto existing hulls with available launcher space. Integration involves hardware mounts, fire control interfaces, and software hooks into the combat management system. Training for sailors and maintainers is also a key part of the transition, the human factor determines how effectively the system is used. Exercises, simulations, and live fire drills must accompany delivery to ensure crews can rapidly employ CAM in multi-threat scenarios. There are geopolitical angles too. 
The South China Sea is a hotspot of strategic competition. Modernizing air defense capabilities like CAM will not only increase the Philippines' ability to defend its maritime forces but also change perceptions among neighbors and partners. A fleet with credible self-defense reduces escalation risks stemming from miscalculation, opposing aircraft or missile launches that might otherwise overfly or threaten ships would face a higher chance of being intercepted. At the same time, acquiring modern capabilities can deepen defense relationships with supplier nations and open up pathways for joint training, information sharing, and operational cooperation in the region. Cost and sustainment are practical realities. CAMM's modularity helps reduce life cycle costs. Common components and simplified logistics chains can make sustaining the missile cheaper than maintaining multiple niche systems. Local maintenance capacity building and potential industrial partnerships may further reduce long term costs. The Philippines could explore options for local training, depot-level maintenance agreements, and potential technology transfer for select subsystems, though such transfers vary by supplier policy and export agreements. Careful life cycle planning, spare parts procurement, and training pipelines are essential to ensure the missile remains operationally available when needed. We should also address countermeasures and evolving threats. Modern anti-ship missiles and swarms of drones present a growing challenge. CAMM's advanced seeker and ability to accept mid-course updates improve its chances against sophisticated threats, but layered defenses and integration with electronic warfare and decoys remain crucial. No single missile solves all problems. The optimal approach combines sensors, layered interceptors, countermeasures, and tactics to present adversaries with multiple barriers to successful attack. Networking CAM with ship sensors, airborne early warning systems and even allied assets multiplies its effectiveness. What about export and regional implications? CAM has been exported to several countries and is part of broader cooperative defense. Relationships. For the Philippines, buying CAM could deepen defense ties with supplier nations and open doors for training and joint exercises. It can also encourage interoperability with partner navies operating similar systems, which matters for coalition operations, humanitarian assistance, and maritime security missions. Interoperability is not just a technical benefit, it's a strategic multiplier that allows allied navies to operate together more seamlessly in times of crisis. In terms of future upgrades, CAMM's modular design lends itself to incremental improvements. Future seeker enhancements, data link upgrades, and improved propulsion could extend range, increase target discrimination, and reduce reaction times. Integration with shipborne or offboard directed energy systems could see CAM operate as part of a mixed weapon defensive layer where kinetic interceptors and non kinetic options work together. This modular upgrade path means the system can remain relevant as threat profiles evolve and as new sensor and shooter technologies mature. Now, let me address common questions viewers ask Is CAM a replacement for larger area defense missiles? Not exactly. CAM excels at short to medium range defense and point defense for individual ships. For wide area naval air defense you still need longer range systems. But CAM complements those systems perfectly. Another question, will CAM change the balance of power? It's a capability enhancer rather than a regime changer. It raises survivability and deterrence, but broader balance shifts depend on a mix of platforms, sensors, doctrine, alliances, and political decisions. Regular live fire exercises and joint drills with allied navies will be essential to validate tactics, improve crew proficiency, and demonstrate operational readiness. Realistic training scenarios ensure the system performs under stress, while lessons learned refine doctrines and procurement decisions moving forward. Finally, what does this mean for Filipino sailors and citizens? A navy equipped with modern defensive tools like CAM offers greater protection for seafarers, fishermen, and maritime trade routes. It enables the Philippine Navy to conduct missions with more confidence, protect exclusive economic zones, and contribute meaningfully to regional stability. For citizens, modern defense systems are investments in sovereignty, they protect resources, enforce laws at sea, and reduce risks to people who work on or rely upon maritime commerce. In closing, CAM represents a pragmatic, modern solution for naval air defense, particularly for countries like the Philippines that require flexible, cost-effective systems adaptable to different ship classes. Its technical strengths, modularity, and interoperability make it a compelling choice for 2026 and beyond. If the Philippine Navy adopts CAM, expect improved ship survivability, closer alignment with partners operating similar systems, and a stronger deterrent posture in contested waters. Stay safe, vigilant, and keep learning daily. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.